guys, I got another video for you guys. This is for the this is a multi scanner. It's the NT510. It's by Foxwell. This is the BMW Mini Edition. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is uh, using it in my BMW, not the Acura, because this is a special one made for. Uh, you can use it in the Acuras and and other cars and stuff like that, but it specializes for the BMW and the Minis. It accesses different systems on it to show exactly what the unit can do so basically it's compatible with obd1 and obd2 vehicles it works good with the newer cars uh it provides merges graphs display freeze ecu it runs um support adaptations and all that other stuff um so basically what this will do is um with this machine you can definitely reset the idle on your vehicle like say if your vehicle you clean the throttle body and your idle is erratic this unit can uh, erase the memory for the throttle this unit so it comes with the manual okay and then it comes with a book I think it shows like all the other scanners and stuff that they have here that's what it's showing me here and uh, yeah all the other scanners I have this one too this one's awesome but it doesn't have all the settings is this one doesn't have all the stuff but it's a good ABS scanner okay so yeah that's just that so uh, then after you take it out of that box then you'll see it's in this case let's just open this case up this is the scanner itself uh, it also comes with a USB charging wire this is for the uh, I guess to connect the computer to do updates Okay, uh, it's really nice. It looks like the other one that I had before. So it's back help. The multi-system scanner 510. Okay. All right. So plug this up and catch back the video. So you just plug this into the OBD2 OBD2 port on your car. And the unit power up, powers up. Okay. As you can see, it has special functions where, let me get this focused, where it focuses for the BMW and uh, OBD2, BMW to set up, playback, and update. So basically, you can just do a regular OBD tool, right? And it'll scan the systems for the regular scan. So I'm just gonna hit the power button two times to put it in accessory mode. Oh, yeah. Hit it two times. Oh. Okay, so now it's in accessory mode. So now it can read the car. Okay, so it wasn't picking it up just now. I think it's because of the, the mode that I had it in before. But I got it sorted now, so now it's, it's good to go. So now I'm gonna run a system scan now. This definitely specializes in uh, scanning for codes and stuff like that, and special codes. So basically, um, there's no codes. Read codes, store codes. Yeah, no store codes. Yeah, I don't have any codes on my car. Um, so it can erase codes. It can show me the live data of the car. You know, the live data showing, uh, you know, spark plug advance and all of that freeze framed. IME readiness is like, um, it shows you if your, your emissions monitors are all ready so you can pass inspection so this will actually show you if you pass inspection it'll test your o2 sensors to let you know if the o2 sensors on your car are good it also has a component test where you can actually test components on the car um to make sure that they're functioning properly uh 
and then has like the vehicle info to show you VIN and everything and then it tells you the module is present on the card then it, you can actually look up the codes on this module also to tell you like you know what the codes are okay so now I'm gonna go to the BMW one where it specializes in just BMW and mini the special um, add-on for this uh, scanner to work specifically for BMWs more so it is able to access more systems so this one works for the BMW mini and Rolls Royce so I'm gonna do automatic selection where it automatically reads the VIN I had to turn off the JB4 module I turned off the JB4 module for the tune the, the tune the tune I turned off on the car in order for this to work so if you have like a tune on your car or anything like that make sure you deactivate the tune first before you try to connect this or it won't work on your BMW so it's basically loading the data from the BMW it takes a little while whatever but there we go so you can go to here and it says control units so it, it takes you to the drive the chassis and the body so you can do different things go into different parts of the vehicle look at this can access the car's DME actual uh, the access system the immobilizer system twin clutch gearbox it can scan the transmission also on it the fuel pump control gear switch the VCG transfer case diesel electronics slave cylinder digital mode electronics it gives you a lot of different options so I'm gonna leave the drive which is transmission and I'm gonna go to chassis, which will be the door locks and different things like that. Oh, I think it was it. Clicked it. What I clicked on? Yeah. So it's ABS, ASC, dynamic stability. So this thing has a lot of different options here to go to for the BMW and mini and you know that for all these extra options for it control dampening so now we're going to go to body a good scanner it shows you all the systems because on these BMWs you got tons of freaking systems on them so it shows the navigation uh, navigation system seat modules airbag modules trailer amplifier in the car the amplifier high CBX media applications controller it's a lot of different options that this has con controller Look at this, it's just going on and on and on. DME, jump box, all of this. I don't know what most of it does, I'm just being honest with you guys, but it can access all these different systems on your car from this one scanner. And this can register batteries also for the BMW. You know, when you put a new battery in, you gotta register it. So let's see what we got in service. Okay, service doesn't show anything, it just shows the VIN. To me, I like it. It's a good scanner. If it can access all those systems, because I have the big scanners. You guys know the ones that I have. I got the big ones that I pay a lot of money for. And those don't give it any issues but it accesses all the systems just like this one but this one is more portable and you can take it more places with you and different things like that and it's not as expensive also so that's a plus so now we're in setup playback is the playback different things and update is to do an update on it and it says obd2 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 different systems 
So what do I think of the scanner? I think overall it's a it's a great scanner. It works really well. It works. It's pretty good. You know, it doesn't give any issues, any problems, and um, it's definitely it's definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Peace.